Are you frustrated with mixed media art journaling like I was? I was totally confused on where to put it, what layer to put it on, and so on. So this is what I learned through my process of doing mixed media over the past five, six years. I like just doing a few layers. I like my layers, so I don't like to cover them up. <laughs> so I like to use scrapbook paper, tissue paper, newspaper, um, any kind of paper really. And I normally pick out a paper that I really like the combination of colors. And I add possibly two more colors to that that are already in the paper. So here you can see there's that uh, kind of a ochre color, a gray, and there's a slight tinge of aqua. And the background is similar. It's all kind of uh, a cream or an off-white. So I just find papers that are going to match this. I like a, a large, a medium, and a small pattern. That seems to look good together instead of having all big patterns or all small patterns. I also like to put numbers or writing on my um, pages. Here I have some tissue paper and I just use the numbers. I had a few, um, I stamped out actually a bunch of uh, stamps on um, tissue paper so I could use on this type of thing. Um, where they the papers meet you'll usually find it's an abrupt stop so you want to kind of blend those in so that it's not so abrupt looking. Um, then I like to put stencils and again I use the colors that were already in the papers and I just add a little bit more pattern here and there. I don't do a lot. You could do brush marks if you wanted to. Um, it's many different ways of doing this. I just like a very simple page because I like to draw on my pages too. So what I'm doing is uh, taking a pencil and I'll be drawing a picture of a girl, um, profile of a girl with a big sweater and a uh, um, scarf on her. And um, so I like to leave that one area in the center there you see. So I kind of pre-plan my stuff. I know I'm going to be drawing stuff in there. So I usually leave a spot so it's not so hard to paint over it again. Now you can just go crazy and do a really neat background and then just take some cream or white paint and paint over the area that you're going to be drawing on or painting on. Um, I have many, many stencils. I, I prefer, um, I guess, background type stencils um, more than, um, say, a specific thing like a car or a bird or that type of thing. Butterflies, well, hey, we can use those anywhere, right? <laughs> so here, uh, yeah, I'm going to be drawing the picture of the girl and it's just a, a very quick sketch nothing with a lot of detail just uh, showing me where everything is and then once I get the base coat of um, paint on I'll do most of my detail with pencil or marker. I like to do a base coat though so it's kind of the medium color that's in this sh sweater so my shadows and my highlights will be added to this. And that way um, it's the easiest way to paint almost anything really. So this is the base of her sweater and then I'll add a little bit of white to that color of blue and that will make my uh, light shades or highlights. Um, depending on how detailed you want to get you can um, do it even more detailed by adding lighter and lighter and lighter or darker and darker. Um, I don't get too detailed with my uh, drawings in my um, book but 
Uh, most of the paint I use are craft paints, especially in my art journal, because I find that when I use the artist grade, I do love them, but they stick together when I close the pages, and that's not a good thing. <laughs> um, I find uh, deco art or um, Americana are the ones I no normally get, and uh, they finish with a nice matte um, finish to them. Don't get the satin. There's a new satin um, craft paint. Those will stick. So just get the old, the f old type of craft paint. They will be a matte craft paint. Um, here I'm doing some uh, hair and again and it's in the base color of the medium shade that is in her hair. And then I'll add um, areas for shading and highlights in her hair and that'll give the dimension that you want. It's really not that difficult. Uh, once you've done a few you'll be very surprised on how quick and easy you can do these. And if you're still not really sure about drawing, um, don't um, shy away from doing this type of a journal page. Cut out something from um, uh, a magazine or photocopy a picture of somebody or um, go on Pinterest and um, find something there and then uh, as long as you've put a fixative on your photocopy, you can cut it out and put it on your uh, your paper. Just glue it down and it'll be fine. So here's I'm just putting a little bit of darker color just to show the uh, roundness of the her bun in the back of her head there. And um, where the hairs meet up towards the bun will be a little darker so I just add a little bit more dark color. A few lines here and there just to show the flow. And then I'll be adding a little bit of, of a creamy color, not necessarily white but um, kind of a cream. You can add it to the a white color to that um, initial base color of the hair just to lighten it and then you just put it um, where your highlights would be and so I'm the way I've put it is the, the uh, light is shining to the right of her so uh, right in front so that's giving more highlight on the front of her hair there on the top of her bun. I like smudging with my finger too because I don't want a really definite line um, it's too hard looking. I like it more of a soft look. just a bit more of a highlight there and then of course I'm drawing um, these in between each application uh, you don't want to paint into wet paint because it'll just um, muddy up everything uh, now I'm going to use some uh, Faber-Castell uh, Indian ink pit markers these I love uh, you can get them in quite a few colors now. I think 60 colors. And I like them because you have a little bit of time for smudging. <laughs> I, I just like to smudge the line out so it's not so defined. You don't want a defined line on your face. So um, when you just smudge it up a little bit, it looks a little more natural. 
and once these are dry and it doesn't take long for them to dry they are permanent which I love um, I know a lot of people like to use sprays and um, stabilos I just don't like them uh, too often I want to go back to add something or something I didn't like so I want to repaint that part or whatever and if you have stabilo or um, a water soluble ink on your paper it just it, you can't go back it that's it you're done because if you go back and try to paint over it you just make things a mess so for me I don't like water soluble reactive material at all um, if I if I do want to put something like that on it would be the very very last thing I put on knowing that I'm completely finished um, so I tend to stick with um, permanent things um, just using some pen markers here to add a little bit of detail it's kind of nice to put a little flyaway hairs so you know not everyone's so perfect and it looks a little more natural when you have a few strands um, peeking out. Uh, that marker there, I believe, is a Derwent um, graphics, they call it, graphic ink, I think. Um, they're great. I like them. Uh, you do have to clean them, the tip off, every once in a while because it does pick up pencil or or um, paint that you've used but it doesn't clog it you just uh, wipe it off and it's back to work again and also I like to use uh, pencil crayon um, or colored pencil <laughs> um, for the details in the hair or the face um, sweater and then the odd marker for real dark details just to give it a little more depth so if you like doing um, mixed media art journaling no one says you have to put a, a million layers on and if you not sure what to put on stay away from the, the the uh, water soluble stuff um, and then you'll be fine there's so many products out there nowadays you really don't need to uh, put them all on a page <laughs> so um, I'll be doing a lot more of these so if you're interested um, please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications because I'm going to be doing quite a few more of these because I'm back into the art journaling again and I'm going to be experimenting again using my stash everybody's got stash of their <laughs> scrapbooking stuff um, and I'll just add this one family one on and then we're done and that's all there was to it a very simple page but I like it you could do a little journaling on it and voila, you're done. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. See you soon.